Yes, uh, there are some men. They were at Gen Con. And they walked out with $300,000 of uh, magic cards. Yeah, pretty ballsy maneuver. Yeah, they just loaded them up on a on a handcart, carted them out there. Well, yeah, no, it was a pallet jack. They took a whole skid of them. <laughs> so they just used the pallet jack. Oh, yeah, pallet jack and a handcart. Jacked them right out. Easy peasy. So this article is from Kotaku, and it said it was updated with more information. Oh. And it said, oh, they identified the two guys. They're like New York. I don't know. People from New York or whatever. Yeah. But like it was literally updated with one line. No information linking about what where it said it or anything like that. It just said, oh, yeah, they've been identified. And like nice update here. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they just took a whole pallet and pulled it out into the parking area. I don't know. Load him into car, <laughs> drove away. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Pretty crazy, but huh. that's kind of the way it works for the stuff like this. Yeah. You just look like you know what you're doing and no one will say anything. Exactly. I mean, they had, it looks they like had badges they had or whatever. lanyards. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, you know, you just look like you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and no one will say and anything. And do it confidently. Yeah. Yeah. Unless then. the people that own the cards are there, like a security guard's not going to know that you own the skid or not. Yeah. They're just going to be like, hey, it looks like he owns that. Okay. Goodbye. Sure. Have a fine day. <laughs> yeah. That's all you got to do. My um, roommate's uncle did that. He didn't steal something, but he snuck into a Kiss concert like, yeah. hours and hours before the show. He just looked like he was supposed to be there. He was carrying his camera and looked like he was supposed to be it. So he snuck in and filmed <laughs> filmed their like warm up. Nice. <laughs> yeah. This was before they weren't really using no makeup either. So yeah. they were on stage doing their sound test with no makeup and he recorded the whole thing. Cool. This was like with like VHS, like way, way back in yeah, the yeah. day. So he and had like uh, just all dressed all black, put on a little high vis vest, and yeah, just walked, walked in. <laughs> this was down in Seattle. He just walked in the entryway, like at the loading area at the back. Yep. Just walked into the arena. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I love it. Do it with confidence. <laughs> so, so this is a good idea for you to get some stock. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. So uh, Disney uh, confirmed that none of the stock that was stole was any Lorcana. Yeah, because it wasn't out yet. So that was the yeah. rumors they store Lorcana. Yeah. Well, they, I think they were uh, they presenting were, it there. They were. They were, they were like, showing it off a little bit. Yeah, you it, could buy it there or give it. They were giving it away or something. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't out for general sale yet. No. It sounds like what they stole was mostly Commander Masters sets and Collector's Boosters, which are super expensive. Yeah. Not well, as expensive the skid, at this, as this one uh, Lord of the Rings booster. But, the skid yeah. was only three feet tall, and it said that it was like worth three hundred thousand so dollars. Yeah, they're obviously <laughs> pricey stuff for sure. Yes, definitely. Yeah, that's crazy. 